I'm not ready. Right. Yeah. Good first time. <laughs> what you see out there early, uh, Grant, you scored 10 of the first 17 points of the game for the man. Yeah, I was just taking shots that were available. Um, the first one I think I made was a curl three. Um, they were stacking off, and I was told to not turn down shots on this team. So um, that was the first one. It felt good. So then I just kept going with it. And, you know, when you get a rhythm, you kind of just flow. Speaking of feeling good, what's it feel like to be perfect for and right now? <laughs> Mike, we got a lot of, like, what, 78 more games to go? <laughs> I'm about to say, I'm not focused on the four. No, I'm focused on Denver, Denver on Friday. But, you know, we got a lot that we continue to learn with. Um, that's the mentality of this team. We can't get comfortable because, um, as you know, in this league, it's as quickly as you can win four, you can lose four. So um, just being mindful of that, understanding we got to take it one game at a time and understanding that we got to make each other better every single day. What's it do for the team's confidence on a night when Luca is not superhuman and you guys, you know, more than take up the slack the way you do? Yeah, um, Luca is, <laughs> people, you know, it's difficult to say he wasn't superhuman because all the passing up double teams and making those plays for us still were, were incredible. And you have to give him that credit. You know, he draws all that attention and allows guys like us to play four on four and even four on three sometimes. So um, it's pretty special to be able to play with him and watch him play. But um, honestly, you know, it, it comes in and it flows. You kind of have to, there's going to be nights where Luca goes for 70 and there's going to be nights where we have to pick him up. And same way, Jaden Hardy, I want to shout out to, to the young one because he, he did an amazing job tonight just being ready when his number was called. He came in. I think he played, what, uh, 14 total minutes, but most of those minutes were in the fourth quarter. He made multiple crunch plays for us, not only with passing and also making a tough shot for us. And I just have to give him that credit as well as Lively. Those two guys, you know, um, we're, we're considered a, quote, veteran team, but we also have a bunch of youth. And those guys have been really, really impactful for us, and not just with their energy every single day in the locker room, but their approach to the game every single day. What does is, what is Derek Lively impress you with, like, on the court? Like, what traits of his and, and what he's been able to do? Yeah, he's, he's super receptive. He's really able to learn on a, on a fast pace, and that's what we need. You know, um, we don't expect him to be perfect, and he accepts criticism. You know, he accepts it when guys get on him, and I think that he's learning how to use his voice himself and get on other guys and make sure they're in position as well as he continues to learn our system. So um, I think he's been a phenomenal um, rookie for us so far. And, you know, as I keep saying, you know, in order for us to be the team that we want to be, he can't just be a rookie, he has to be a vet, and I'll let you know when that day happens. Like even his passing, I, I feel like it stood out. You know, like he was he was putting a lot of the the you know the short rolls, make a play from the the key. Absolutely, you know when Luca's gonna get trapped by guys like Vooch or another team, um, he has to be able to make those simple reads um, and be able to make a play at the rim. Even try to pull out a little euro today, and that was pretty cool. <laughs> but um, you know uh, he's he's doing a phenomenal job. He has to keep just keep his head down, stay stay humble, stay stay hungry, and impact the one game for us every single night. How big of a lift did you guys get from Hardaway with 24 points off the bench? Oh, yeah. Tim has been the sixth man of the year. You know, I'm going to always going to pay for that because he's a guy that can really help us in many games. You know, a nice where whether it's Kai, Luke, or myself, when we're not performing, he's going to step up for us and really be in that role. And he's, you know, sacrificing, you know, the guy of his, his talent to be able to come off the bench. Um, I think that shows what this team's trying to accomplish. And you have to give him that, that love and deserve it, deserve it, deserve it attention because. Um, he comes in and, you know, he comes in and lights it up. And like in the full first and second quarter of the night, you know, we were looking for an offensive punch. You know, I, I think I scored a couple points and we were still kind of stagnated and Tim came in and gave us that extra lift. So um, he's going to continue to do that. And he's, he's been a great vocal leader for us as well. Luca wasn't getting some of the calls he wanted tonight. There was some moments of frustration and there was a moment in the game where he was going out of ref and you kind of led him away. What's your mentality of being Luca's teammate when he gets in some of those? Yeah, same way Luca's there for me. Um, he's a guy that is going to attract a lot of attention and not just from officials, but from other players. He's going to get fouled and there's going to be time for he doesn't get the call. So just keeping him mindful of those situations. And in any, any instance, I say, let me get the tech, you know, let me be the one that has your back because in that moment, you know, you're going to be passionate. You know you got fouled, but they're going to, they're just going to see the reaction. They're going to see you flailing or you yelling, and they're not really going to pay attention to the words that you're saying. So let me be the one to come over there and curse them out if I need to. Anybody else? Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.